Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Today is Saturday the 27th of Feb and it is the day after I got back from the Naked Harvest retreat in Byron Bay. Yeah, it's Saturday, it is 1.42 right now and I worked my job at the Gluten Free Donuts Market Store this morning. You can see I'm wearing my cute little shirt. Um, and I do that until like roughly 11.30 or 12 and then um, drove, did I stop on the way? No, I don't think so. I think I just sat on my phone for a bit. I was like, why am I so late? Um, but then I went straight to Aldi and did my grocery shopping and stuff like that. Did I do anything else? Don't think so. Oh, and I went to like the health food shop as well, but basically just did my groceries. I'm going to do a grocery haul to start off this vlog. Um, so the things I bought from the health food shop. Also, how do we feel about this angle? My camera is in the windowsill of the kitchen. And I, obviously the lighting is quite ideal, so I think it's going to be better. Anyway, got myself some of the wheat-free oats from the health food shop. And also some gluten-free wraps. The brand Diogo's. I've never tried these before, but it was kind of impulsive. I was like, oh my god, yeah, I'll have wraps for lunch with like chicken, cheese and lettuce. But I didn't actually buy any chicken, so <laughs> don't know about that yet. But um, otherwise I might just put them in the freezer for another week because it was a bit impulsive and I've already planned what I'm going to eat this week anyway. And then everything else is from Aldi. I don't know why I didn't just bring the bag in front of me. So my dinners, I'm going back to my meatballs, potato and veg, which is what I started having when I first got my air fryer. So I love the pork and beef meatballs from Aldi. I get two packets because they're so yummy. I eat a lot of them. Um, and then I do, well I'll just show you what else I got. Bread and cheese. And then these are the frozen veggies I like. Super lazy girl, easy, quick option. Um, they're three individual steam bags of carrot, corn and broccoli. So I love that they're like one serve per bag. And I think I got two of those. Um, I also got frozen mango because I want to recreate Sophie and I's We Spa Bowl um, that we made with the new greens powder from Naked Harvest. So I might do that tomorrow for breakfast or something. Got my other frozen veggies. Also got um, the Kenny's salted caramel. Wow, it's a bit melted. Um, salted caramel, locale protein ice cream. That's the Aldi brand. It's so yum. And then I also found these, which I have never seen at Aldi before. So they just had like a few... Um, pre-made meals called World Kitchen. So I got the Chinese special fried rice and the Italian mushroom risotto. These were $5 each and these ones are both gluten-free. So I was like, I may as well give them a go. So I think I'm going to have one now because I haven't eaten yet. Um, and then obviously they're not good for you, but they just looked really good. And I was like, $5 for a pre-made meal. Love that. So that if I do need something quick and easy in the future, I know that I can just like go to Aldi and get those and that I like them. And then I got some free corn from like the fresh produce market at the markets, but I'm gonna get to mum. Hopefully, hopefully she wants it. Lettuce for my I hate that it's in a plastic bag, but I just that's what I got, guys. Um cherry tomatoes, eggs, because I'm thinking of getting back into protein pancakes for brekkie this week. Um gluten-free seeded bread from Aldi as well. I had to get bloody six avocados because I really, really hate shepherd avocados with a passion. And I think avocados are out of season at the moment, so I can only get the Haas ones in a pack of six. So that's fantastic. Um, oh, that means I'll probably have to have avo toast for breakfast, not protein pancakes. Whatever. I'll do avo toast with eggs. Problem solved. Um, potatoes for my potatoes to have with dinner. And then... A cuke. So that's for if I want to have salmon and rice bowls for lunch. I put cuke and tomatoes in it as well. My camera is flashing dead, so I'm gonna go put that on charge. I'm gonna eat. I think I might try the mushroom risotto. Let you know. Let you guys know how it goes. Also, my friend Nat is coming over soon because she wants me to braid her hair because no one in her family can braid. Um, because she is a bloody athlete. She's doing a triathlon and she loves to have her hair braided. So that'll be fun. And then I'll let you guys know. I'll also have a shower because I feel super gross and sweaty. It's still really hot in Brisbane. And I haven't showered since work this morning. So I'm going to do that and then I'll check in with you guys. Hey 
Hey guys, sorry I didn't vlog much this afternoon. I had some Mr. Consistent stories to do for Instagram and I didn't have any plans to go out this month and I do them like every month. So I just decided to make myself a little cocktail at home while I was editing, well, while I started editing the NH vlog. But I don't really want to vlog outside because my mum was sitting out there too. And I'm just like not 100% comfortable or like used to vlogging around her again. Just because like, I don't know, she doesn't really get social media 100% and it just makes me a bit self-conscious. I don't know, it's very silly because I know she still like doesn't care but like it's just one of those things I'm going to have to get used to again. Um, but it doesn't matter because all I was doing is sitting there editing and having a little um, Mr. Consistent Stitch Up cocktail. I'm sure you would have seen it on my Instagram. Um, but now I've just had a shower, gotten into my favourite little, wow I just showed you how messy my room is, but I'm wearing a little matching set from Mira Boutique that I got in a haul ages ago and I am about to go to my first ever full moon circle which is really exciting. I'm like really unsure what to expect but very excited about it. So basically it's this beautiful lady that's in my area that messaged me on Instagram, no clue how she found me and how she knew that I wanted to do a full moon circle. <laughs> no, she had no idea, but <clears throat> just that alignment is literally unreal. Like I love that I've been thinking about it. I've seen it on Chelsea Rocker's Instagram story that she started going to full moon circles. Basically what they are is literally like a circle of like a gathering of people where you sit in a circle on the full moon. Like so tonight the moon is going to be full. Like it's in that side phase cycle of what am I got that phase of the cycle it's in that phase of the moon cycle I think is what I'm trying to say see how little I know about it but anyway I saw that she went and um when it's a full moon it's a really good time to like manifest and reset and refresh um and like cleanse your energy and all that kind of stuff so yeah I really I've seen these full moon circles and I was like wow yeah I love occasionally I'll put my crystals out and journal when it's like a full moon or a new moon because I kind of I follow enough people on my Instagram that I see it on other people's Instagram accounts when it's happening so I know and I do it myself too so I'm kind of involved in that like more woo-woo stuff but like only just scraping the surface and I really want to get more into it and more into my spirituality so anyway this lady messaged me and I was like what are the chances this is incredible, so aligned, yes I will come. And she also wants to do a crystal healing on me, which is like unreal, I've been wanting to do that as well. Not necessarily a crystal one, but like go and see like a healing person and like work on that and my chakras and my aura and stuff. So that's really cool, but she said start up, we'll start off with um, being invited to the full moon circle so I can see her energy and we can meet, we can vibe. Um, I'm very excited, what time is it? Awesome, almost time for me to go. But yeah, um, she sent me this beautiful message. I can just tell already that she's like just so gentle and amazing, like such a nice vibe. Her Instagram handle is Moon Aura Healing, and she sent me literally the longest message ever. Wow, my phone's still plugged into the charger. Um, that's like she sends everyone who's coming so they know what's happening and what to bring. She said, Dear Soul Family, thank you for joining me tonight for our special full moon circle. I'm so excited to share tonight with you. Please remember to bring a yoga mat, bolster, or any cushions to make your night comfortable. I'm not going to lie, I don't know what a bolster is, but I have a cushion and a yoga mat, so that's fine. Um, you'll be sitting and also have the opportunity to lay down for some of the meditations. I'm so excited. I haven't properly meditated in the longest time, so I'm very excited. Um, please, if you remember, to bring a mug for your cacao. Cacao? Cacao? Cocoa? Hot cocoa? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I do have plenty here, but sometimes it's nice to use your own special mug. Remember, you can bring any crystals or anything that is special to you that you can place inside the grid or even hold on to during the night to get charged by the moon's energy and all our beautiful energies as well. And then just more details about when you arrive. And she said, I'm going to send you a link for a song that we'll be using tonight. If you do not have the opportunity to listen to it today, please don't worry. I'll be inviting you to sing with me. However, you can also just sit there and listen to the beautiful words. Light and happiness, Ebony. And she sent a full message of the lyrics to the song in case you wanted to like be able to sing along with her. So sweet. Like, I'm just already that excited. So, I'll show you what I'm bringing. Pretty much everything that I know that is um, all things spiritual. My little cushion from the lounge. <laughs> My yoga mat. 
all of the crystals that I own. These are all from the beautiful Shining Mia, who obviously was part of my, when I did my manifestation ebook. Um, we worked together on doing a giveaway and she sponsored a vlog, I think, before any Instagram post. So, yeah, that's really awesome. I also, this book is my journal and I've got a pen. She didn't specify that, but I'm hoping there might be an opportunity to write or to journal. If not, that's okay. And then my mug, I chose to bring my one that says, always believe in yourself. I love that it's not focusing, but that's okay. You can read it. So my little studio here is completely safe space. I cleanse and bless this studio multiple times a day. Um, also, open it up to your guides or anybody that you may have that wants to come in and support us. So remembering that it's only ever loving guys I wow clearly have a morning post um it's like 7 8 in the morning and last night when I got home from the moon circle I totally forgot that I was vlogging so hi I'm so sorry it's iPhone footage by the way I got too scared to get out my big camera it's not big but like it's on a big tripod and I got too scared because I didn't know any of the women there and it was like a really special space and obviously I doubt anyone's filmed in there so I was just trying to be like bit low-key about it you know so I filmed what I could but then also once we got into it after the cacao I fully just like zoned into the thing and didn't think about filming which was good that's what I wanted to do um but yeah she had that beautiful crystal grid it's called with the water in the middle which had it was a vase of water that had rose quartz at the bottom and rose petals at the top so then when we were writing I got a bit confused guys um on a full moon is when it's best to use the energy from the full moon to release anything that's not serving you and then a new moon is when you set goals set intentions manifest new things moving forward and like you know a full moon is like releasing old energy and stuff that's not serving you so that makes sense so that's all it was focused on today i mean tonight last night what am i saying <laughs> So um, yeah, we started with like a cacao meditation and she actually explained the spiritual properties of cacao, which I had no idea about. She just had a jug of like hot water with raw cacao, a little bit of honey and cinnamon just to make it a bit sweeter because raw cacao is very bitter, especially with just plain water. Um, but I still drank it all. She only gave us like a bit each because you're just meant to like take it really slow and just like sip it as like more of a um, intentional like practice instead of like actually drinking a mug of chocolate hot chockey um so we did a meditation holding or she saged us and she saged the room to like cleanse everything and saged our mugs that we brought and then she poured us a like cup of it each and then we held it and did our meditation to like connect with it which was really interesting um and then we drank it like as we were still in that like meditative state just like whenever we felt like it just like sipped it i had my eyes closed the whole time and then we did um, a really, it was like a 20 minute guided meditation. I was laying down for that. And then we got up and we wrote down actually things that we were releasing. Because first she got us to think about it. And then we wrote down with 
coloured texture on paper because when you put paper with texture on it in water the texture the ink just like fully disperses and like gets soaked into the water so it's not actually still written on the paper by the end of it which is really cool and like really symbolic that it's like all released and then what she does at the end of the night when we're all gone she pours that whole vase into her like special sacred part of her backyard out in the full moon light um but yeah she let us like hold some crystals and stuff while we did our like meditation at the end we did a sound healing as well which was incredible i'd never experienced that before it's like those big sound bowls where she like rubs this thing around the edge and has like a little gong and all this different stuff um but yeah definitely a fun experience and something i can't wait to do more with her she does like one-on-one -on -one crystal healing as i said and she sort of was saying like on the first one you just get to chat about like the things and she like removes blockages in your chakras and stuff which I know for a fact I need so um let me know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff because I can't wait and I really want to share it on YouTube um so if you want to share if you want me to share my journey like each time I go and see her she also does meditations on a Wednesday like as a group thing um and she does those special circles on a full moon and a new moon but anyway I need to stop talking let me know what you think of all of that um I'm about to make myself a smoothie I'm gonna make it with the new Naked Harvest Greens powder because I haven't actually used it other than the smoothie competition when we're on the retreat so I'm gonna try it in a different smoothie and then I'm going to the beach today with my friend tomorrow well she already lives um on the Gold Coast so I'm gonna go meet her and go to this like rock pool kind of thing that she's been wanting to go to um which is amazing i don't know where it is well i know where it is it's in corumban so we'll see it's like when we get there and then i'm hoping to be home for the afternoon to get stuck into planning my week guys that flavor combo is so good I wish I just made it a bit colder I wish there's more ice but it's delicious I used vanilla pancake butter crispy crispy Christmas cinnamon cookie protein berry vanilla greens and a frozen banana and milk me on hold with RECQ because my car won't start. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Let me show you guys what it happened. What happens? All right, keys are going in, and absolutely nothing. What is that? What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna turn it off because that sounds concerning. But like. Get you to sit inside and start it. I just need to wiggle. This. Oh, okay. Alrighty, guys. So thank God it is just the battery. He gave me like a little quote for how much batteries cost. Just a little two hundred and forty dollars plus the fifty dollars I just spent on getting roadside assistance. So that's awesome. But honestly, not mad about it because. <laughs> Guys, this is actually probably a good time to like chat about my like financial goals and stuff like that. Because I remember telling you guys like when I'm being super open about like how I'm going mentally and stuff like that. Obviously, there was a while where I was struggling um, when I moved out of home, like in my last apartment. Um, and along for a while there, most of the time I was there, I was living week to week. Um, very much like if that happened when I was living out of home and in the financial state that I was, I wouldn't have, I would be crying and stressed because $240 is like how much my rent was almost a week. And I probably would have had to use rent money and then figure it out later. Or I probably would have had to call my sister, my younger sister, who's two years younger than me and ask her to borrow the money until I could like pay her back the next week. Like. That's just, that's just the reality of what I was doing. 
So is my, are my teeth a bit green from the green smoothie? I don't know. The lighting's not very good here. But um, yeah, right now, and actually I had a little look at my bank last night because I got paid from like the donut market thing and I've got my budget and I've been doing it for probably the last three weeks now since I've been here. I've like got in my notes which bank account um, a certain amount of money gets transferred into. So I've got a fun account, I've got a beauty account, I've got my bills and direct debits, I've got my savings and my emergency fund and that's all of them I think. So yeah, thank God that I was really just pouring money into because I listen to and I'm in the Facebook group of She's the Money, the podcast, and um, they were talking about the priorities. So my priority is to fill up my emergency fund. I'm aiming for about a grand in there, maybe a grand and a half, um, and to pay off my laptop, which is on a credit card, which is so not ideal. So they're the first two priorities. And then once those two are paid off and I've got that amount in my emergency fund, that's when you start working towards savings. So I'm honestly only putting $25 a week into my savings account right now, just because I'm putting like three times that amount into my emergency fund and double that amount into paying off my laptop. So that's why that's sort of how I prioritize. So $75 goes to my emergency fund. 50 goes to my laptop repayment and 25 goes to my savings. Obviously those amounts could even be bumped up more, but you guys are gonna be honest. I don't earn, like I don't have a full-time job. I've got lots of little different casual ones, but yeah, this just means it's real life, very relatable. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the road to getting back to financial security and financial freedom. So honestly, I'm really proud of myself that I'm not too phased that, um, that battery will cost 240 I'll just take it out of my emergency fund it won't make a difference to how I live I won't have to spend less on groceries this week or blah 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 whatever so be able to afford everything and then I'll just let that emergency fund build back up like obviously it won't be have as much as what it did but it is now 11 40 I've arrived at Tamara's house who is my friend and I'm just gonna go in see what she's doing see where she's at and I don't know one of us will drive to the little water thing that she wants to go see in Carumban, so I'll let you know where we go. We literally stopped at the end of tomorrow's drive and we're like, where should we go? Because we're going to go to the Rock Falls, but I didn't realize they were 45 minutes away, which would have been fine if I got here at 9 o'clock, which was the plan, but it's not, and it's <laughs> midday, so we want to get in the water. Yeah. So we're going to go to Tully, and <laughs> she was like, oh, I just hope it's not a human soup, and I was like, <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I just literally cackled because I thought that was such a funny analogy and I've never heard it before, but maybe everyone says it, I don't know. Hey guys, I am home now. I'm looking a little bit pink, which I'm disappointed in myself for. And I think I have um, learned my lesson of what I need to do. Like I said, I, every time I get a little bit burnt, it's not like too crazy bad, but you can tell it's from when, oh my God, I thought I literally just had a nip slip, but I didn't, it's okay. <laughs> um, it's from obviously when I was still wearing this dress because it's just like a V. Anyway, I'm knackered. It's like almost 9 p.m. I'm gonna have a shower, turn in my room a bit, go to bed. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thank you for you guys being here and supporting me. I'm feeling very grateful at the moment. Have some exciting things coming up, and obviously just had like the most exciting two days ever with Naked Harvest. So yeah, just thank you guys for being you and for being here. Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying me vlogging more. I'm very excited about it and loving it. Um, it might take me a little bit to get into the rhythm of like when I want to vlog and when I want to upload. And you know just vlogging in like my new space and stuff. I haven't really vlogged here 
in my mum's house yet and I obviously like when it's just me so yeah anyway thanks guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you very soon bye